Well, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is seven family restaurant chains only in America. Mm. Interesting. Well, encountered. So maybe they do, like, I'm thinking like Taco Bell came to the UK like recent in terms of when he's been here. Oh, so yeah. I feel like maybe they may be in the UK now, but not before. Yeah, in the eyes of Lawrence, only in America because... He only ever saw them first mm -hmm. in America. But obviously, a lot of things have come over now. It would probably been about 10, 30, 10 yeah. 12 years when he made this video when he'd been in England. Mm -hmm. So, like I say, there may be small instances, there may not be big ones, but at the time there wasn't, and we may have never been to them. Might not. We don't think we have been to any of them. I don't oh, know. No, we've been to America. So. You're right. <laughs> not here. Yeah, <laughs> TGI's we've been to, that might be potentially on here. I don't but know. But we've also been in. to America, haven't we? And we've been, yeah, we've done, we've been to all of them. We've been to Wendy's. Yeah, it's a family restaurant. It's not a restaurant. It's fast food, isn't it? Yeah, but McDonald's is technically encountered a restaurant. Is it? I suppose it is, yeah. technically. We'll see what it is. Smash the like button, guys. Smash the subscribe button. We're going to be pausing quite a few times for this video because we've had a nightmare, haven't we? Yeah. Corrupted files. We did um, a couple of compilations and it was just corrupted files. We've never had it before, but like basically about 25 minutes or whatever footage. Just you guys will never see that. Videos in the bin, pretty much, because yes. we're not going to re react to it. So, what we're going to do, because it's launched, we want you guys to see this uh, video, and it's normally a good video. We're going to, every five minutes, pretty much, we're going to cut it so you may see a little. I'll try and edit it so you don't notice it. So, we'll be re watching like 10 seconds worth of footage mm -hmm. every time, but 10 seconds every five minutes isn't much, is it? It's not a big deal. Smash the like button, guys, smash the subscribe, and check out Patreon. We'd really appreciate it because we've had a frustrating few days, haven't we, with the copyright thing, uh, not copyright, the corrupted thing, and we do put a lot of effort into it. Movie channel, link in description. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's check it out. Seven family restaurants, only in America, what we got. Hello, I'm Lawrence, and I'm on a quest to uncover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond, and one of those memos pertains to restaurants, specifically the kind of restaurants that might be referred to as casual or family or sit-down restaurants. Okay. And depending on how good your short-term memory is, you may recall that I did a similar video for I fast food in the distant past of four ah, days ago. Food, you may really also dumb. recall that 57 years ago, at the beginning of 2020, restaurants were something that most of us did. And hopefully that my talking about them will convince your stomach to be hungry and to call in delivery and to support these and other restaurants as well as their staff during the pandemic. Oh, I that suppose. said, I find myself in the awkward away. position of doing this video while being about as much a fan of chain restaurants as I was of chain mail circa 1998. <laughs> Give me a unique independent restaurant with an owner that looks like Don Corleone any day of the week. It's okay. just that when I first moved here, I moved to a town whose only restaurants were chains. So if you can't be asked to cook, which is every day, then those were your only options. That makes sense. And in general, it and just makes is, sense for me to do this. Chains are too easy to go to. What would be a chain then? Oh, a chain. Well, like your McDonald's is a chain. Okay. I guess TGI's is a chain restaurant. Yeah. Um, Nando's so is like, a chain restaurant. So like, big, the big names. It's not a chain restaurant, so it's harder to get in there because it's... An independent, so there's only one of it. It's normally okay. family run and they've made a business out of it. Where a chain is, it's got... Whereas more... in England, there's like so many McDonald's in one place. Yeah, it's, it, you know, I think the definition of a chain is probably more... They own more than one of them. Okay. So there's multiple of them and they're all over. Whereas Little Italy, they own it. They've probably owned it for years and years. They go to it. And there's little independence, family run. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or you've got a chain, which is, there's loads of them everywhere, you know? Okay. This video, on the one hand, Americans will get to learn which of their sit-down restaurants are unique to the United States, and on the other hand, any British people thinking of eventually moving to America for love will get to see which restaurants they'll be forced to dine at when a spouse's cousin they've never heard of graduates. <laughs> and so this video is all about sit-down restaurant chains I never encountered until I moved to America. Now here's an Uncle Toby caveat. You might be expecting the likes of Perkins, Denny's, and the Ponderosa. Not those three anywhere. in particular nope. will not be making today's list not because I experienced them in Britain, but because I ate at all three when I went on holiday to Florida when I was eight. Uh, okay. I was with my pet. I didn't come on my own. And so, and them. this is not a comprehensive list, let's take a look at seven sit-down restaurants that I only encountered after moving to America, ranked from worst to best. I'm ready. Oh, crack a barrel. Crack a barrel. What Ooh. are we going to do with you? It's not what do you a... think crack a barrel crack sells? Oh, okay, we've got a little bit of a hint. It looks like a peanut can of shape. <laughs> Cracker Cracker barrel. barrel. I guess crackers? it was just, just everything, I guess. Not crackers? Yeah, I don't know. Cracker oh, no. Barrel. It says store on it. Old County Store. Is it a store slash restaurant? No idea. I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm going to restart the recording anyway for our first one. And we'll unpause in a second, but I have no clue what no this idea. is. 
that the food is bad. I like southern country food. You know, once I worked out that biscuit isn't the same thing as it is in Britain and that gravy here is some kind of spicy cream. No, it's not so much the food. It's that Cracker Barrel treats its customers like I treat my cat. And I don't mean they pet everyone. That would be bloody weird. <laughs> I mean, they make you work for your food by dangling toys in front of your face. You have to squeeze through the sea of merchandise just to get seated. And that's after you've already been tempted by the rocking chairs. I don't know whether to go there to eat food or to knit. Now, I do like that every table has those little games with the pegs. I think it's to distract you from the decor. But look, this is just an opinion. If you love eating southern country food and tacky wooden birds, then this is the place for you. Mm. Don't... Don't eat the birds. That was just a poorly constructed sentence. That seems interesting. That's really interesting. I hope. Contrary to popular what's belief. What's IHOP? National House of Pancakes. Oh, that's it. I was going to say, I knew it was going to do with pancakes. Yeah. We've got to do a hi- IHOP one day. Mm, I love pancakes. IHOP is not an apple product or a song by the Seven Dwarves. It stands for International House of Pancakes. And because of that, you'd expect that this would be the one on the list that I would have encountered in Britain. And while IHOP has gone international in the Middle East, it's yet to set foot in Britain. And this is because A, restaurants don't have feet. And B, the British only eat pancakes once a year. What? And we have flat ones. Whoa, whoa, back up there. What are you talking? That sounds mad because yours are flat. We have crepe-like ones. We have crepe-like ones. But we do have American pancakes on the menu. Yeah, it's specifically American pancakes. American pancakes. <laughs> yeah. Talking about. That's right. Sure, there'll be some British people that eat it more regularly. Uncle Toby comes to mind. But on the whole, British people reserve their pancake eating festivities for Pancake Day, mm-hmm. otherwise known as Shrove Tuesday. Yeah. And in America, they do things a little bit differently. Here, Mardi Gras is sort of a de facto Pancake Day, along with all of the other days of the year. And so IHOP, much like the iPod, is often full. The iPod. And this is my chief complaint, actually, with all of the entries on this list. I don't like crowds. Quarantine was made for me, unlike pancakes. That was a joke about how pancakes are never made for me because I never request them. I've just never been a huge what? fan of pancakes. I'm I'm not a fan cake. Can we can we get that in the dictionary? Pancake. No? Okay. Bob Evans. That's Bob like a man. Evans. I was thinking that was like singer. a thingy. I was thinking singer, but I was just gonna pull out like a little guitar or something like that. Maybe you get music at the same time. I've been there approximately two and a half times. I once used it for just the toilet. And even though it does itself draw in the breakfast crowds, not to be confused with the breakfast club, I do marginally prefer it to IHOP, and that's probably because pancakes are a choice, not a threat. But this is one of those restaurants that I discovered today is mostly a Midwest or a Mid-Atlantic thing. You won't find too many Bob Evans in the mountains of Utah. But if you like your breakfasts or lunch or dinner with meat and potatoes, as chains go, you can't go wrong with a bit of Bobby E. That's my nickname for him, nobody else's. And just in case the owners of Bob Evans are watching, send me a private message. I've developed a proposal for an upscale version. I'm calling it Robert Evans <laughs> Senior. Texas Roadhouse. Texas I've heard Road- about this. Texas Roadhouse. Is that? Did we do it? Did... No. Texas Roadhouse, I only know from Jess Fam. Oh, okay, there we go. Because he go. loves to go to Texas Roadhouse. Okay, maybe, yeah, I was thinking maybe we actually don't want to eat him there. I think it's everywhere have. because she's in California. There you go, okay, that might be like more of a chainy one. Roadhouse, an establishment bearing the theme of Texas that serves steaks and not roads. And during those early months of living in the US, I continually confused Texas Roadhouse with Lone Star Steak and Saloon. And I was That's today years old when I discovered that the latter has What, said... Lone Star? Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was thinking it, either Mr. H or Jolly, I couldn't remember which one. I'm pretty sure one. one of them, I think it's Lone Star, the one we've talked, we've been... But we were, got you. I mean, they both look gorgeous from that. It's gone defunct. I don't know why I'm happy about that. Sorry to all of the staff. But it means I can now move on with my life and base all of my assumptions about Texas on just one restaurant. <laughs> And it's a restaurant headquartered in Kentucky that I've only done once in Indiana. Okay. I think it was oh, my well. birthday or someone's graduation. The, the two blur together the older you get. If it was my birthday, I had no say in this. Or it was literally the best option. But my memory of the experience is a good one. I liked the steak. I liked the wine. I think it was darkly lit. And I like that most okay, of the time. Okay, that's good. I've since been to about 100 independent nice. steakhouses here in the United States. And in almost every case, they've been superior. Like any exceptions yeah. to that can rightly be referred to as a mistake. So, Sorry. It's, so Texas Roadhouse then is technically yeah. like our wildfire. Because I would say our wildfire is not Texas themed, but it's got like the cow skin, it's got like the animal skin, you know, on the seats and stuff. 
Oh, uh, like, I, I was gonna say I was like got my cow skin. I'm like, what? No, no, no it's like our, it's like our. You mean warfare. for the seats? Yeah, I mean the decor. <laughs> got it. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I hope you give like we just had a bit of steak and then suddenly you've just seen cow skin. No, there no, as no. Well. I'm just saying that would be our equivalent. Of oh, okay, got it. Be the darker atmosphere and stuff. Yeah, got you. <laughs> so and the Applebee's, meat again, yeah. not to be confused with Apple. Tim Cook doesn't employ little worker bees to do the circuitry <laughs> yet. Although with the last name Cook, I always imagine how hilarious it would have been if he'd have gone into the restaurant business. Imagine the marketing opportunities if he opened a restaurant called The Three Tims with Tim Curry and Tim Rice. Applebee's <laughs> is not that. While I used to shed about 1,200 about British oh, yeah. pounds at the Apple store, I always leave Applebee's about 12 pounds heavier. But I can largely tolerate Applebee's, mostly for its atmosphere. Something you should know about me is that I actually don't mind crowds too much if I'm really drunk. That's been okay. my experience at Applebee's. Fair enough. The volume level is as large as the portions. Although last time I was there, I had to complain to management because whoever was in charge of the music let Nickelback happen. <laughs> All that aside, Applebee's is another place that's Not gone sure international Nickelback. Like Nickelback. in the Middle East again. I forgot to mention a moment ago that surprisingly, that's also true of Texas Roadhouse. There are three countries in the world with United in the title. You'd think the United States and the United Arab Emirates would share with the United Kingdom. It's okay, we have plenty of good restaurants of our own i'm just trolling <laughs> Ooh, red lobster. yes red lobster. red lobster we have heard about red lobster yeah i feel like that's on like all tv shows it comes up John eventually Sheldon. young Sheldon definitely because he... also we've been sent the red lobster biscuits. oh that's been making stuff mm. and all that haven't we yeah now we need to properly try red lobster one day don't we yeah no definitely it's red lobster this one was always going to get lost in the pond because Lobsters are found at sea. And red Aww. lobster's pretty good. It's not just lobster, it's seafood in general. Okay. And I'm a bit of a maverick when it comes to red lobster. I always go for the least obvious thing on the menu, fish and chips, usually. <laughs> That's me. And they and absolutely Bacolta. stuff you with biscuits. Again, not digestives, but bread rolls. And when I say stuff you, I'm not being literal. The staff are pretty good about keeping their hands to themselves. <laughs> now, to any of my British viewers, the portions of this place are almost as big as the prices, so you won't be eating there every day. Otherwise, you'll die. You might go there for a special occasion, <laughs> a birthday, an anniversary, but definitely not graduations. <laughs> Students can't afford it. Too expensive and it almost for no matter which state you're living in because all but about five boast a red lobster okay and once again you'll also find them overseas in southeast asia the middle east and not the united kingdom send them over to the uk why not send them over even a though on special i kind of think like we've never really had american food in the apart from tgi's but we don't really see that as proper american mm -hmm. it just emulates it but if we were a red lobster in london and we went to it I don't think it would be the same as having a lead, red lobster in America. I think it's like going to the UK and having... Like, the, the there's go, McDonald's was so different in America. Yeah. Like, I feel like you can take an American thing and bring it over here. But you need but to try it. you're still not using the American ingredients. So you need to try in America, yeah, don't you, to get the full different. experience. Nah, I'm with you. Specializes in Italian American cuisine. The Olive Garden sometimes gets a bad reputation, and I can't nice remember why. Mm. To me, it's the classy one. <laughs> if you close your eyes, you feel like you're in the Mediterranean, but in the Matrix with Frank Sinatra and American accents. It's, it's nothing like the Mediterranean. But it is nice. It has a good atmosphere. Amazing breadsticks. How okay. in five years have I not spoken on this channel about Olive Garden breadsticks? They are to die for. I love a breadstick. And the other stick. food is nice too. Again, mm. an array of seafood and pasta dishes. Now, it could be that my glowing review of the Olive Garden is heavily influenced by wine. Definitely is. But did I mention their breadsticks, which don't have any salt on them, and I'm definitely not the person to seek for dietary facts? Again, Britain has no shortage of Italian-themed restaurants but it yep. has a nice round number of olive gardens zero, zero. to be fair it hasn't got an international yeah. presence in general except in the middle east that's it for this it episode thank these, you for I joining middle east can afford it can't yeah. they i guess bring, bring them over to the uk I, I know i've just said they're not the same but i'd definitely still give them a go yeah so try it and then i'd compare it whenever we do get over to america yeah same smash that button if you enjoy guys smash the subscribe button but seriously appreciate you absolute legends that was good, weren't it? It was good. It was check, interesting. Out, check out Lawrence. His link is in the description. Check out Patreon. We've had a long night, haven't we? We've just corrupted files. And it's, been, it's just so frustrating because you, you do a video, you really enjoy it, you think, oh, that's great, and you go and it's just corrupted. And it's like, oh, okay. Uh, well, we've still, still got to record for tonight. <laughs> um, 
get a new video. Um, and then, yeah, it's one of them, isn't it? So I would appreciate if you checked out Patreon. If you want to check out the movie channel, 300 may be delayed because we have recorded so many videos. I was meant to be bashing it tonight, but I'm going to try my best to get out in a couple of days. And uh, hopefully you enjoy that when it goes out edited because that was an experience, wasn't it? No, Put it that way. <laughs> Millie jumps quite a lot. Yes. Smash that like button, guys. Smash the subscribe button and watch the video. Have a fantastic day. And we will see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.